wakey wakey. Rose and shine. Don't you know? It's work time. But no, it's not work time now. It's fun time, actually. Now, hang on. This energy saver button. I obviously, it's a bit too gentle this time, but we're not going to get rough. We're just going to be a little bit firm on the sucker. Now, what's it doing? Is this hell? Come on. Wakey wakey. What's wrong with you, poor thing? Oh, hang on. Wait a sec. It is! Oh, how confusing! Oh! This could be passed. Oh, power there, but then that should be illuminated. So, it goes to show that even an expert can get these things confused. That's copier design. Imagine what a normal person would be like. I'm trying to work that one out. Oh, it's just starting to warm up. Just missed the beginning of the sequence. Just sort of flicking through the page just to see what's in this. And this thing's pretty cool. This place has got some pretty cool gear. Yeah. It's just a pity the OEMs don't supply the parts anymore, guys. And they don't supply us any jobs either. It's stupid. So undignified. They're breaking our industry. Okay, time to set up. We're going to see what we can get this thing to do. So, we we'll light it right off. We'll take it off the fault. We might go. Um, we we'll go photo mode. Photo mode this time. Select, but this can't go over three. Darker, we might slam that up about two notches. 
uh, medium. Maybe drop it one. Maybe with a lot of magenta, we might. Uh, what do we do with a lot of magenta? I think minus it one. Minus a little bit. Minus two maybe. Okay, cyan. So cyan, we can we like to keep the rest of cyan a bit strongish. Well, again, you know, it's always hit and miss, isn't it? Experience also helps, of course, but if you're not familiar, well, very wasteful. Good thing about Clonica Minolta's um, BizHub C754 and the other copiers in the series is they've got a preview screen. So these don't unfortunately like oh, I do wonder if I should punch that one up or just drop it a bit. And black I thought we stripped out black on the single bar screen because sometimes with other copiers you can actually strip out the black using single bar totally and then so you don't have to use all these three bars one by one, which is a bit fiddly, you know, a bit, a bit like triple handling. So, that's our colour balance set. So, yeah, okay, we're going to see what other pieces of fun we can have this sucker. Image quality adjustment, one touch colour. So, let's see what we can do with this one touch colour. I've done, I've used Vivid on other models. Um, Highlight reproduction. We'll just try. Uh, I don't know if we should play with that now, but I think we'll just leave that the color bounce for now. Image quality. Um, move background. Find. Oh, oh, that's right. With the RGB so it controls too. Ah, crackers. Woo. I don't know if we'll go to there yet. Um, we'll just leave it that for now. I think they're sort of RGB or a mixture. It's interesting how these things work. To really get an appreciation of these, you know, you have to both read the manual and operate it. Now, an average person would not even have to give these things the moment of the day. Um, it's easy to learn. Some people learn easily just by rattling it. Some people, you know, theory is, is a nuisance at times and People just don't read copier manuals, even if they are theoretically driven. So, I think we'll just, oh, sharpness, I think we'll just sharpen it about, I think we'll leave it on two notches. Yeah, yesterday's configuration was a little bit basic. Um, image quality was a bit muddy. So, we're going to see how this goes. Again, I should do screenshotties in case... Oh, dang, we accidentally slipped ourselves into single colour. We're going to cancel that. We want full colour. So, expensive mistake, wouldn't it be? Um, well, it's auto colour. I don't like auto colour. Most of the time, we're going full. Now, let's see if the settings confirmation. This could be useful. But again, conf these confirmations can be quite limited. But this might be good for doing screenshots. We'll see how it goes. I'll screenshot them just so in case I lose my settings. Yeah, we had to, to can the docky cover docking because someone was using the the Pausport 2 400, not C400, as I accidentally incorrectly quoted on my last set of videos. Get it right, girly. Hey, we all make mistakes. It's only human. Don't be ashamed. Okay. So we're going to do this one now. So I've got it set up. Just got to keep it in play. Um, so it must have been a little bit hot and sweaty now. <laughs> Whoa! This thing's a bit hot up to get onto. This document feeder is is annoyingly tight. <sighs> Need to put my glass on. 
few copies we've done on Sucker. Oh, but yeah, we've done four so far. No, no, I had a good time, mate. Believe you me, I can hold my own with these bloody suckers. <laughs> okay. Time to put the output the sucker. Whoops, we better turn this around and just do it better. Okay. Time for output. Unfortunately, so focus it a bit. Yes, that's better. Just a little bit close. This thing's a bit slow off the mark. Yeah, it is out of stuff. Right. Ooh. So the gander. Oh no, look at that, man. Wow. This is freaky. Look at the hair. Wow. Now this copier seems to produce a muddy green colour, but we've managed to create a really nice um, configuration. Got a bit of an issue here, looks like a fusing, a fixing issue, um, but that's alright, it's an old copier, um, it's part of the fun. So these look really good, you can see the nice little sabature effect or solarization effect, it's amazing what you can get with copiers when you know how to set them up properly, and this is good paper too, very smooth. So there you have it, that's the, uh, that's the Canon. IRC 3220. Well, well, she's in the front of the car.